So my name is Nancy and I am the Regional Marketing and Business Development Manager for uh, Alibaba.com Malaysia as well as uh, Thailand. Prior to uh, joining Alibaba.com, I was actually um, part of the Lazada Malaysia team, um, heading the brand and public relations uh, department. And I've worked in, uh, as you can see on the screen, I've worked in a number of different industries, including companies like uh, Astro, uh, so coming from a media, entertainment and broadcasting background. And then um, sort of later on went into technology and uh, internet-based companies such as iProperty.com um, under the Real Estate Australia group. Um, and then which led me in eventually deeper down the path of uh, digital and e-commerce uh, companies. And it's absolutely my passion to be able to um, share some of my um, insights that I've seen um, evolve throughout the uh, years, especially in terms of uh, what online um businesses can evolve, what are the marketing trends and what are people actually searching for when it comes to um, online search portals and uh, e-commerce marketplaces. All right. Okay, so just a quick overview of the whole Alibaba group ecosystem. Um, there are mainly three uh, different pillars under the Alibaba group. So um, in the left hand side of the PowerPoint and on the right hand side of the PowerPoint are our, our digital media and entertainment uh, businesses, um, which uh, are mostly in China. And the local services in China um, are also, we, we also have the uh, Herma supermarket, um, as well as the um, AMAP, which is a, a version of the, uh, something like a Google map, a navigation um, map, uh, because all of, all of the other services won't work in China, okay? So uh, what we really wanna focus on today is actually the core commerce for our um, Alibaba group. So you can see in the middle under the core commerce, you see some familiar brands that probably you've also shopped before on uh, brands on like, like Lazada, um, Taobao, uh, Tmall, uh, or perhaps Tmall Global and um, as well as AliExpress. Um, today, we are focusing or I am from the team that is Alibaba.com. So Alibaba.com is a 20-year-old uh, business. It is also the first global uh, e-commerce marketplace uh, that was started by Jack Ma and his co-founders uh, way back in uh, Hangzhou, China, uh, to actually facilitate trade between uh, global, supply, global buyers. Um, and at that time, only supplies from China. But of course, 20 years later, the service has evolved very, very quickly. And now we are connecting global buyers uh, with the global sellers like yourselves. Okay, so then also just real quick overview, supporting these uh, very three important um, pillars of commerce are um, served by our other business units for payments, financial services, logistics, um, advertising data management, and also cloud computing. So um, some of you might have seen or heard um, um, Alipay um, or N Financial, that's the payment services. Um, then there's also China, which is um, um, also has a team in Malaysia and um, they are actually part of the Alibaba.com or Alibaba Group um, logistics and warehousing solutions, okay? To, to once again support and facilitate the, uh, the trading and the core commerce business that is under the Alibaba Group system, okay? So I, um, I'm gonna move on quickly, all right. So now you can see that um, on the left-hand side of the screen, uh, pay attention, um, we are in the business of uh, making it easy to do business everywhere for SMEs all over the world. And uh, our uh, duty or the core function of the Alibaba.com platform as the world's leading B2B e-commerce platform is to connect um, global suppliers with the global buyers, okay? Um, uh, and in um, the, uh, how many countries are we in? We're in 190 plus countries and regions all over the world in various different languages. Um, and then there are uh, about 40 plus industries um, that are represented on the platform, meaning there are already 40 plus of uh, industries that is represented with suppliers selling to global buyers um, all over the world. Um, and 
if you can see on the right hand side um, to the global buyers, how many active buyers are we actually looking at in terms of um, Alibaba.com um, members? They are actually um, eight, around 18 million global active buyers who are sending um, about 300,000 active daily inquiries over the platform to our um, global suppliers or global sellers. And uh, to give you a quick profile or overview of who the global buyers are. Now, these global buyers on Alibaba.com platform, they are not the end consumers. Um, I would like to emphasize that we are a leading B2B e-commerce platform. Now, that's not B2C. B2C is direct to consumer uh, or business to consumer. And locally, um, a platform like Lazada or Shopee is a B2C platform, which means that the platform um, traffic or customers are made up of end consumers. And the difference, main difference between um, B2B and B2C uh, uh, traffic or customers is that the B2B customers actually buy for business and they buy in bulk and they buy wholesale. Okay, so and who are the, um, some of the buyers, who, who are they, what they're looking like? Um, so these people are typically uh, trade agents in maybe countries like United States or India, Pakistan, um, all over the world, okay? And they could be wholesalers as well, importing um, goods um, uh, in over the 40 plus industries into their own countries to be sold um, to the direct consumers in their own respective countries, okay? And then there are also, of course, retailers as well as other SMEs who are engaged in the uh, import and export business. So that um, in a nutshell, or in a quick summary, that is what the function of the platform is. We connect people who buy from all over the world to um, all our suppliers who are manufacturers or trading companies who are trading in the uh, various uh, pro categories. So now um, I've explained to you uh, the difference between the B2B and B2C buyer. Now I would like to share with you very quickly who are the uh, buyers and where they're from. Okay, what countries um, are we actually looking at when it comes comes to the traffic coming onto the Alibaba.com platform. So firstly, you can see the first or the largest uh, global buyer distribution on the Alibaba.com who are actually buying from our gold supplier uh, members or the um, sellers are actually from United States um, and then um, followed by countries like India and then by Brazil. And then on the fourth, you can see Mexico, and then uh, fifth is uh, Pakistan and a little bit closer to home are uh, also countries like Philippines and Indonesia. Okay, these are the top 10 um, countries where our uh, traffic, buyer traffic is representing right now who are sending um, an average of uh, 300,000 plus active inquiries per day on our platform to our suppliers. So this is how our trade is being facilitated on the e-commerce uh, marketplace um, between the various different countries. Okay, so I'm going to pause here and check some of the chat here because I see many um, comments. So if you have any questions, uh, please um, remember to um, ask it in um, the Q&A box because in the chat room, we might miss it. Okay, so let's move on. Okay, so I share with the top 10. Now is the next 10, which is a, falls within the top 20 global buyer distribution. What other countries are we looking at? Um, you can see uh, countries like Canada, Russia, Germany, um, the Middle East, um, also Argentina, Peru, and Chile. So you can see that uh, definitely the European Union is represented, um, United States are represented, and in Southeast Asia, the two most populous nations in Southeast Asia are also buying or um, sending inquiries uh, to our sellers on Alibaba.com platform. And also I thought it would be interesting to actually pull out um, the number 25th, uh, 26th and 29th uh, global buyer distribution. Um, and you can see that actually in Malaysia, um, there are also a lot of uh, retailers uh, or people or businesses who are selling to end 
consumers um, in B2C who are actually also sourcing for goods and products on Alibaba.com um, and uh, followed very closely by Thailand. So a lot of Thai uh, businesses also come onto our platform to source for goods to sell in their uh, country. Um, and then also interestingly, uh, Vietnam also one of the top 29 for definitely falls within the top 30 um, of the global buyer distribution who are actually sourcing online through e-commerce marketplaces um, and um, on alibaba.com. Okay, so um, I'm going to move on to the next slide. Now here you can see on the screen is actually the global top 10 industries receiving inquiries on alibaba.com. Now this is a global overview. These are the top 10 categories that are receiving inquiries um, every single day. Okay, and this uh, data is, um, a, a, is a 20, 2020 uh, latest updated figure. So the first um, uh, category or the highest uh, demand uh, in terms of inquiries uh, on the Alibaba.com platform globally um, is uh, actually apparels. So I think uh, mostly e-commerce driven by female. Uh, and um, as we all know, if you're in, in business, you know that female actually drives a very high consumption um, of goods and services. So no surprises there, apparel. Um, and then followed by consumer electronics. I think this is also a trend that is made even more real this year as more people are spending time at home and uh, spending more on gadgets and devices and um, setting up their own um, home office or making the work from home environment a little bit more comfortable. Okay, so globally, the third um, industry receiving inquiries is actually in the area of beauty and personal care. So once again, very female driven. Um, and then followed by the home and garden category, um, sports and entertainment, and then machinery, um, vehicles and accessories, uh, packaging, printing, health and medical. These are the top 10 um, um, in terms of a global. It doesn't mean that the other industries that you see um, that you can't see. For example, if you, if you don't see your industry represented, doesn't mean there's no demand. We are just merely showing you what the top 10 global uh, uh, categories are. But uh, once again, um, these uh, figures would change because consumer behavior is constantly on the change and on the rise. So uh, please, um, you know, if you are in that industry and it's not represented, please do not worry, okay? This is just the top 10 there are over um, 40 plus industries that is represented um, on alibaba.com. So don't worry, okay? So now uh, we've seen what the global top categories are that are receiving in, uh, inquiries on alibaba.com. Now, uh, this is what the Malaysia top 10 industries that are receiving inquiries from overseas customers uh, on alibaba.com. Okay, meaning these are the uh, industries that we see receive the most in, um, inquiries when it comes to um, global customers, all right? So first category, no surprises. Malaysia, pretty famous for health and medical products. Um, and then second category, sec security and protection, meaning the uh, PPE products. So these are, are the top two categories uh, for Malaysian companies or suppliers this year. Uh, and, and in fact, I think uh, names like Top Glove uh, is, is no, not foreign to anyone in Malaysia. Um, and uh, they have been our uh, member for uh, many, many years now. Okay. And then what is in interesting is the, the third category is actually for Malaysia. We see that the food and beverage in, um, industry received the third highest uh, in terms of number of inquiries on Alibaba.com. And then followed by vehicles and accessories, machinery, um, home and garden, agriculture, consumer electronics, um, apparel, and then beauty and personal care. Now, if you see the top 10 categories on Malaysia receiving inquiries, it is actually mirroring the global demand for um, the number of inquiries are received on Alibaba.com. So what I'm saying is that Malaysia definitely um, in the top 10 um, um, uh, uh, industries receiving in uh, inquiries on Alibaba.com is actually matching what the global demand actually is. Okay. 
So there is a, a lot of um, um, a tremendous opportunity if you're in this top 10 categories. But then again, if uh, your category is not represented or you don't see here, does not mean that there's no demand, does not mean that there's no inquiries. It just means that it's not within the top 10, okay? But are there opportunities? Can you still get the leads uh, through alibaba.com? I will walk you through um, in the next 30 minutes or so um, and show you that um, actually um, in the online world, um, an e-commerce is the best way for businesses uh, to actually pivot and grow their um, um, export business in, in 2020. All right, so now let's look at the Malaysia top five receiving inquiries um, categories. Um, I'm going to skip top one and two, but I want to focus on the uh, third category, the food and beverage. So food and beverage category, what are the top five countries or buyers from what kind of countries are buying or sending inquiries to our Malaysian suppliers? in this category. You can see the first one is uh, from France, okay, which is uh, EU um, a nation, and then the United States, and then Malaysia as well. So a lot of uh, local um, domestic Malaysian um, retailers or, or people who are businesses who sell to uh, end consumers on their own either platforms or, or they have retail or they have restaurants um, are also sourcing for um, food and beverage products uh, from Malaysia, made in Malaysia through Alibaba.com. Okay, and then number four is uh, the UK, and then the fifth is uh, from um, Saudi, okay, or the uh, Middle East uh, region. Okay, so I'm not gonna like mention the top four and five. You can take a look that actually most of the, even in the top five, you can see US is well represented in each of these top five categories. Buyers from US are buying from Malaysia. So there is a, a strong demand from a country like United States. And especially with, uh, you know, the uh, recent developments with uh, the sanctions coming from uh, US towards uh, some countries um, in the world uh, is also a great opportunity for uh, Malaysian suppliers to actually grab on um, and actually supply to uh, one of the largest um, nations in the uh, in the world, which is the United States. Okay, so moving on. Now let's go straight into the food and beverage category trend and industry analysis. Okay, so before um, we go into that, let me just take a look at the questions. Okay, I'm going to address it later. Okay, so I will continue with the, my presentation first, and then we will. We will address the questions uh, during the Q&A time. Okay, so um, here are the key topics I'm going to be covering in the next um, uh, 20 minutes. So firstly, what are the um, FMB buyer and agriculture industry buyer growth trends in terms of number of inquiries, as well as um, number of active buyers on the platform? Okay, and then secondly, I will also talk about what are the trends that we currently see on Alibaba.com um, being representing the um, global trend as well as what are some of the business opportunities that um, SMEs can actually grapple, grab on with? Uh, and also we'll be sharing with you what some of the um, resources and support that Alibaba.com provides uh, to uh, Malaysian suppliers. Okay, so... Um, you see on the screen, this is an overview of the FMB consumer trend um, or consumer demand in the United States, okay? Um, and this data is as of March 2020. And among the top 100, uh, 100 growth categories year on year for um, United States, um, about 48 of them, about half of them are related to food and beverage industries. So this is the first point. A point number one is that even if we don't uh, go for holidays, even if we don't uh, buy new apparel, we need to eat, right? So a uh, food and beverage industry is, is one of the largest or biggest or fastest growing um, industry on uh, what, or what we see on Alibaba.com. But also these figures are the um, US e-commerce consumption um, year on year growth categories, meaning um, the what are the US consumers buying? Um, on e-commerce, on online platforms in their country, it's actually 48 of them are actually related to food and um, beverage categories. Uh, why um, I, I selected United States to actually show an example that there is always a demand for food uh, is because US is, um, is one of the, is, is the largest uh, buying population from um, um, our, our 
on Alibaba.com. And therefore, I just wanted to show you that uh, this is a trend that is also what we see mirrored um, um, in other countries as well. Okay, the main fastest growing categories in this uh, FMB um, industry are actually things like instant foods, health foods, energy foods, um, seasoning, um, and um, functional foods. Okay, so fast food, like such as like instant noodles. I think when we first went into uh, MCO in Malaysia um, and even Singapore, we've seen uh, different pictures of people actually buying up instant noodles and stocking up on instant noodles. So that, that's not a surprise there. Um, and that is something that we actually see mirrored um, on the um, US consumption behavior as well. All right, now, uh, what is the daily traffic volume um, on Alibaba.com looking like in the year 2020? Okay, this is a, um, a 2020 versus 2019 um, uh, uh, comparison. So overall, the traffic has actually grown 21% um, year on year. So increase in the uh, number of people uh, actually sourcing from online uh, through Alibaba.com, our unique visitors or what we refer to as traffic has grown 21% year on year. All right. And uh, I think when the outbreak actually hit um, China um, and the rest of the world, we didn't know what what this uh, pandemic was, was about and uh, many businesses were worried. Um, but in fact, you can see that even during the uh, outbreak in China and um, especially during our Alibaba.com March Expo online um, sourcing festival, um, the traffic actually spiked up a lot. So it means that people are still buying and where are they buying? Uh, because they cannot attend uh, international trade fairs or trade shows, you cannot go out of the country as the borders remain shut. Where are they sourcing? They are actually sourcing um, online. Okay, what is March Expo? So March Expo is a online sales festival that Alibaba.com organizes um, every year during the month of March that is similar to the 11-11 um, you know, and um, the 12-12 single day sales um, on the B2C shopping platforms, okay? But this is a, a global sourcing platform. So during March and as well as a super September is when there are lots of uh, suppliers all over the world actually offering um, good deals and offers to global buyers. And this is where we see the highest number of traffic. And also we see a lot of uh, inquiries being sent uh, from um, buyers to sellers. And, and definitely if um, you are competitive and if you have great products, you have great customers, customer service, you have great pricing, then it also means conversions to sales. And we've seen this happen time and again for um, some of the Alibaba.com um, Go Supply members. Okay, so I see some comments. All right, okay. Let's move on. Okay, so uh, we also see significant growth on volume of inquiries and active buyers. So MC um, inquiries, MC is actually referring to the message center uh, or inquiries sent on Alibaba.com um, app. Uh, each of these suppliers actually has an application um, and also a message inbox in which um, these sellers can actually directly send you inquiries. So we've seen actually um, a 35% growth um, year on year in terms of inquiries being sent on um, Alibaba.com overall. Okay. And the number of active buyers on the right-hand side of the screen has also increased tremendously. Um, and this is comparing the uh, latest data, March to June of 2020. Okay, so I'm gonna move on really, really quickly because time is uh, running out. Um, what are the uh, nations or countries actually buying um, the, in the, in the F&B industries? So first country, uh, no surprises, is United States, followed by India, Netherlands, um, and United Kingdom, Canada, and Malaysia also makes up um, the top, uh, top 10 ranking. And what is interesting is that 60% uh, of the global demand are actually led by um, United States and India. So very large uh, consumer population, very populous nations are actually um, the buyers are actually sourcing online for their businesses in their respective countries. All right. So in the FMB um, industry, what are some of the 
subcategories that are actually driven uh, by the changing consumer demand that is uh, greatly affected from this um, lifestyle change that the pandemic has caused this year, especially when it comes to work from home um, kind of trend. Okay, so uh, we actually see the growth is actually led by uh, seasoning and condiments because most people work from home. So we tend to have meals, more meals at home as well. More people are cooking more and more. Um, and then followed by beverages, uh, seafood and canned food, instant food. And then um, lastly, the fruit and vegetable products because more and more people are getting um, health conscious. And um, this is a trend that is uh, interesting and a new trend that we see um, in this year, and it's definitely an um, change that is caused by the uh, pandemic. All right. So seasoning and condiments, what are some of the products are things like salt, pepper, chili, um, peanut butter. Okay, these are all condiments to make the food uh, more flavorful. Okay, so you can see spices and herb products are actually the led by the this category. 96% are actually um, looking for spices and herb products. Okay, and then Give followed me, uh, by uh, Nancy, two more minutes. Yes? Okay, sure. Okay, thank Sugar, you. sauce, um, and salt and vinegar. Okay. Right, I'm going to breeze through. I'm going to skip that. Okay, so what I uh, want to re-emphasize again is um, there are actually a demand from global buyers uh, for the various categories and products. And um, like I say, it doesn't mean that if your category is not represented um, on this uh, screen that you see here, it doesn't mean that it does not have demand. Um, in the beginning, I actually shared that we have a 40 plus uh, industries actually represented on Alibaba.com, meaning these are the categories that or industries that have been um, receiving inquiries um, every single day um, through uh, Alibaba.com B2B e-commerce marketplace. All right. So um, just want to just give you some summary of key trends in 2020. Um, globally, among the top 100 year-on-year Growth categories are 48 of them are related to FMB. And in terms of online traffic, it has grown um, year on year. And there are a lot of uh, changes um, in our lifestyle led by the impact of COVID 19, um, leading to growth of categories of such as uh, food and beverage, and especially, uh, you know, um, seasonings and herbs and spices. Okay. And I'm going to skip this part. Okay, that's just uh, not enough time um, to actually share all of my uh, slides, but I just wanted to share with you um, if uh, what, what are the local support that Alibaba.com uh, provides in Malaysia for uh, suppliers or SMEs who join our platform or become our Go Supplier members is there are actually we run every, every month there are onboarding courses that are either ran by Alibaba.com or our channel partners such as Exabytes um, that will help to onboard you from a, um, if you don't have any e-commerce back, uh, background, if you don't have any online experience, it's okay because we will provide the training and uh, our channel partners um, like Exabyte will actually help you to get onboarded uh, quickly. All right, and then um, at the different uh, months of uh, your life cycle up to the uh, month 10 and 12, um, there are different key milestones that uh, we help our suppliers to achieve and the various different trainings that we provide um, through our webinar and online training sessions. Okay, so um, just want to share with you just uh, as this success story from one of our Malaysian suppliers. Um, the company is called Happy Grass and Dram Um, And uh, they have actually been our members for the past uh, three years. And in just two first two years of their uh, life cycle on Alibaba.com, their annual revenue grew from um, just um, around 500,000. And in the third year, they were able to double up their online sales revenue to about, um, about 1 million plus. Um, currently and every month on average they receive about 30 to 50 um, genuine sales leads every month okay so um, just want to share with you the success story and then a quick quick summary on um, how do you get export sales leads is number one know who your customers or your buyers are in your category and then identify the right uh, e-commerce platform to help you to reach those um, uh, buyers or customers and number two um, on alibaba.com if you are a member you actually 
actually get access to um, analytics and um, insights on what the uh, what your your potential customers are doing uh, from traffic to inquiry to leads and then converting to sales. And um, the third point here, um, you can see this triangle down here. What are the B2B buyer key priorities? Many people think, how do I compete with, uh, you know, uh, countries or, or suppliers from other countries that are providing a cheaper price for the same product category? Um, this is um, a, a survey that we actually ran in um, our U.S., um, to uh, customers to ask them what are your key priorities when it comes to sourcing for products online. Um, it's not just price, okay? It's not just about the cheapest, but suppliers also actually look for um, the quality as well as uh, effective um, um, service um, from the uh, uh, suppliers. Okay, so that would be the end of my presentation and I'll hand the time back over to Kokwai. Okay, thank you very much, uh, Nancy. Yeah, so uh, very insightful information. So I believe after Nancy's uh, presentation, I believe a lot of these uh, attendees um, know and understand how actually Alibaba.com uh, works and what Alibaba.com is as part of the uh, Alibaba ecosystem and how it actually is, uh, drive local SME and manufacturers to a global um, uh, e-commerce success, yeah? So, um, I have a few questions in the Q&A box, yeah? First is from uh, Faris. So, I believe uh, Nancy has already answered that, yeah? It's regarding the uh, Target China market one, yeah? So, uh, Nancy already answered that. So, uh, another question is that uh, for the PPE products, such as uh, ma uh, mask and sanitizer, are they allowed? to be sell in Alibaba currently. So, um, and there's another, another question from uh, uh, anonymous attendee, yeah? So, uh, is that we can pay installment instead of uh, upfront to join Alibaba? So, I will leave these two questions uh, during the panel discussion. Is that okay, Nancy? Um, I think we can just quickly address the uh, first and second question. Uh, yeah. I will not answer the uh, question on payment installment. I think somebody from, um, please get in touch with um, someone from Exabytes uh, to walk you through, uh, you know, what are the packages and pricing and what are the payment options, okay? okay? Cool. Uh, because time is very precious. Okay, so yep. first question. Um, hi, Nancy, is it possible to target China market in Alibaba? As I see data you shared on China is not in top 20. Does it mean Alibaba is not potential to sell for China? Answer is no. Does not mean that China not in the top 20 buying countries, therefore you cannot sell or the Alibaba.com platform is not the suitable one, okay? And in fact, China is within the top 40. But it really depends on what product category you are selling and as, especially if that product is not available in China or it is something that um, Malaysia is uh, famous for exporting, they will definitely come and source uh, for uh, um, the product on Alibaba.com, things um, such as durian um, and also uh, perhaps uh, a bird's nest, okay? So it really depends on what product you are selling and what category you are in. It, it's not a, um, a blanket thing just because we didn't show what's the top 20 or the top uh, uh, 30 doesn't mean that there are no Chinese suppliers sourcing for products um, on Alibaba.com. So the answer is you can target the Chinese market, but that really depends on what are the demand um, for the uh, your product is. Okay, and is... Uh, are the uh, are the buyers from China actually looking for your product um, regardless of whether it's on Alibaba.com or 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 any other channel? Okay, so this is like two separate things. Okay, different things. Um, okay, the second question is uh, regarding the PPA products like uh, gloves, a mask, and sanitizer. There are uh, very stringent rules that are being applied um, not just on Alibaba.com but by governments in Malaysia and around the world regarding the sale uh, or trading of PB products like glove um, and mask and sanitizer, okay? This is also not something we can directly uh, address. We need to uh, take a look at what your company profile is looking like. Um, there are already uh, PB and um, health and medical suppliers on our platform, um, but it really depends whether you actually uh, meet those criteria or not. So not blanket bank, 
depending on whether you are able to meet the stringent criteria because this is um, a health medical and then PPE products we are talking about. Okay, so hopefully I'm able to answer your question.